Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Chelsea, and I'm so happy to have you here today. So today we're going to be doing a mobile home tour. I know some of you have been asking for me to do that for a while now. Well, the time's finally here, guys. It's not going to be a very long video because this isn't a very big mobile home. But I want to start off by saying that it is a 1985 Oakwood home. I'm not sure about the measurements and I do apologize for that, but it's not on the like owner papers or whatever that my dad has because my dad does own this house and me and my fiance Josh are doing like a rent to own basis with them. It is on three acres of land, so it's kind of secluded on a dirt road. We have like a two or three neighbors like on the dirt road with us, so it's really nice and peaceful. And we do have well water. We do have a well house outside of the house. And I wish I would have took a video kind of like outside showing you. But I didn't. I don't really think I was that prepared for this. But <laughs> I did the best that I could. I did show you the whole house. So I'm excited for you to see. And there is some things in the house that we still need to fix up. And I will be talking about that some in the video. And I will also be putting words on the screen of things that... I don't know that I see that I just want to get done or that needs to be done so hopefully we will get them done sometime this year <laughs> but the house has two bedrooms and two full baths so that's really all I wanted to go over but I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you do subscribe we would love to have you join our YouTube family but let's get right on into this video guys okay so here is the front door I'm gonna stand in front of the front door. So the first thing you see when you walk in is the living room. Okay, and if you take a right when you come in the front door, you see a room right here to your left and then a room straight ahead. If you walk straight ahead, you're gonna walk into my son Chase's room. And then you can walk through his room to get to his bathroom. All right, walking back out of his room. The one here is his bathroom. Okay, so we're back at the front door. It's right here. And then here's the living room. And this is our pet turtle, Sammy. Don't judge. Thanks gotta be cleaned. And then here is our mini hamster. She's sleeping. I don't know if you can see her, but she's sleeping. And then I've just got this here, just showcasing my family and little knickknacks here and there. I'm trying to give y'all a slow-mo shot but this is the first time I've done a home tour, in case you can't tell. <laughs> Just got some crates, and I spray painted them gray. And I made that little area. Then here is the little TV stand. Alright, and as you're walking through the living room, you're walking towards the kitchen. Here is my little desk area. I hung my little sign up that I got for Christmas. It says Mama, and it's got my Hunter, Chase, Kaylee, and Kylie on there. And today is actually Monday the 23rd, but if you're new here, that's hardly ever changed unless I'm cleaning over here, and then I'll change it. I don't, I don't know. It's just something about it. I forget, or I just don't think about it. And then this area, this box right here is full of cups, just like those right there. So... I don't know what to do with that and then these have to go back into my car because they actually go to my client's house and then here's the kitchen table I just did a Walmart haul I made a short and here it is if y'all want to see it I got some Tide Pods some trash bags some shampoo and conditioner some scent beads parchment paper uh, measuring cups the gloves to like wash your dishes needed some more q-tips and then I found these at Walmart for five dollars they're like little decor trays so cute I got two of them and then this little cutting board for five dollars 
So that was nice. Okay, and then if you keep going around, here's the fridge. I do have a spot for the dishwasher where the trash is right here, but we use that for the trash can and then to store baggies that we get from Walmart or Food Line or something. Here's the laundry room and the back door. And then right in front of my desk is this little thing. I forgot to show you. It's just got knickknacks and stuff on there too. And I just keep this right here. This is my wet dry back. And I've got a pile of dirty clothes in my room, but this is all that's left in here. So about probably a load and a half full of clothes that I need to catch up on. There's something in the washer and I believe in the dryer. But this is my little thing that I hang up clothes on and it's usually out, but I don't have a lot of room right around here. So I like to just put it up against it when I'm not using it. And it actually collapses down too, but I use it quite often. I just leave it up. And then when you walk past the kitchen, here is the door to the master bedroom. And that's our room. I'm going to turn around and give you an overview from standing right here. I do want to get new blinds, especially for in here in the living room and new curtains. And I would like to paint as well but like i said i don't know when all of this will happen this is just things that i want to get done and in the laundry room okay so walking past the kitchen you come into our room and we have the closet right here here's the closet Look how chaotic it is. I mean, it's somewhat... We got some clothes folded up there. A big old suitcase. I really want to get a better suitcase. Like a smaller one, updated one. Because that is huge. And it really, like, when we go somewhere, all of our clothes and everything fits in that. But, I don't know. I kind of want to do a closet system. Like, maybe a shelf, like, going down. And then, like, rods on each side. I don't know when I'll get to that, if I'll get to that, but, and then stuff back there, I mean, you can't even get to it, but, I mean, it's a pretty, it's not a walk-in closet or anything, but it's a pretty long closet. And really, this door right here on the closet is broke, but you would never know it like this. Need to find somewhere better to store the our putty. We actually did a makeover on this room about six months ago or so, and it's in my playlist in my videos if you want to go check that out. But it was like a plain dull yellow color, and it really needed to be painted. So if you want to do a makeover and you're on a tight budget, I, my opinion would be to get some paint. It really does make that difference. Okay, and as you're walking through the bedroom, you make your way to our bathroom, and this part is where the sinks and stuff is. And then if you turn right, then you move over to where the shower and the toilet and stuff is. And I don't know why I didn't show you all of it, but the cabinet right there just has our towels and washcloths and stuff on there. And about a year ago, we put down new floor and a new shower and everything in here. So I need to paint and do a makeover in here as well. And when I do this bathroom paint and stuff and fix these walls, I'm going to hang towel hooks up so they're not always going to be on here. And I need to get a new shower curtain and liner. So... There you go, guys. I need to get a strip like this right here to go right there. But here is our bathroom. They're being very loud. Okay, well, that's the end of the home tour. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope that it gave you what you were looking for. Maybe it gave you some ideas or something that you like and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I will try my best to answer them as best as I can but yeah guys this is our home and we are so blessed and so grateful to have it and I can't wait to see what the future holds also if you guys have any tips for me about anything in the house that you have seen that you just want to share with me your thoughts then please feel free to leave them in the comments 
I am not the best at decorating and all of that, so please feel free to leave me any tips that you may have. But I hope y'all have a wonderful Friday and an awesome weekend, and I will catch you later. Bye, guys.